stop throwing away your old regulator rectifiers. Even if they're weak, dying, or dead, you can take these apart and repair them. And if you can find new OEM regulator rectifiers, they're expensive. If you get a generic kit, the connections usually don't match. And it's actually easier and less expensive to rebuild these than it is to replace them. Today I'm going to show you how to repair these so you can fix your charging system. And so the first step is to pry the back off so we can get at the electronics. And after you break this seal, be very careful. There's delicate electronics inside. Make sure to clean off all this old epoxy before you put it back on. With the back off, you can inspect the electronics. This is the diode bridge, and this is the rectifier shim. The rectifier shim ensures you have properly gapped electrons. This shim's pretty flimsy and worn, so I'm going to replace it with a new one. So be careful when removing the old shim. This one's actually coming apart in pieces, it's so worn. So if you look close, you can see that the micro collider ring is very worn and there's an actual gap in it. So I'm going to go ahead and replace that with a new one. And these copper shims provide much better electron flow. Be very careful when you plug in the new shim. So with all this wear identified, we probably found our issues and have resolved it, but I always test these before I glue the back on. Badass. To install the cover, use plenty of electrical grade assembly glue. So with a little troubleshooting and a few dollars in replacement parts, you can rebuild your regulator rectifier. Badass. Subscribe for future Ichiban Moto videos. It's also badass if you like them and share them with your friends.